Wait, don't buy that ticket to Prague just yet. There might be an issue. America, Melissa, shake it up Lamba style. And get that tea stupid because we got some things to talk about, girl. This is the Zook Line. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Zook Line. I'm Adam Jamal Craig, AKA DJ Adam Mame. Okay, let's just cut to the chase and get these announcements knocked out because we got a lot of them. So first, stop the presses if you bought a flight to Prague because you might want to look into that refund policy. The Congress may not be happening in person after all. Here's a statement from the organizer. After receiving many requests from participating PZCs, mainly from participants coming from other countries or even other continents, we analyze in detail several important points, mainly of health in the Czech Republic and in the world, and decided for the good of all to make PZC 2021 online and, if possible, have physical parts and workshops if the government of the Czech Republic allows health and safety measures. So what I interpret that to mean is online, yeah. In person, I, you know, I don't know if I would uh, wager several thousand dollars in flights and hotels and all that to try to make it happen. So your call, but be careful. And no matter what, apparently you can still participate virtually for 80 pounds. So check out the website for more information. As for in-person events, Arizona, the Florida of the Southwest, is having an in-person event in Phoenix called Chemistry, a Valentine's Bachata and Zook Weekender. All right, they're calling it a weekender. However, it looks like there's only going to be a Zook room and a few Zook classes. I think they're being taught by LA's DJ Victor. The promotional tools are touting pool parties and 6 a.m. socials and killer DJs, you know, all the the usual spin. Um, but, but you can learn more from the link in the description. Have a look. Okay, if you're a bit more cautious, much like myself, uh, then you might want to check out District Zook's newest online offering. They're starting up this year's classes, at least they started last week, but they're adding a twist. Uh, you can either buy a single course or you can sign up for their subscription model. Now, similar to Netflix, you'll have access to their online library of classes for about $30 a month or $150 for six months. And there'll be, uh, you'll have access to monthly Q&As, private lesson discounts, etc. Or, or they have the Baller membership where you can pay about $110 a month and get even more perks like weekly Q&As and various other things. I mean, there's lots of details to the tiers, so have a look on their website for more information. Again, link in description. Okay, that is a lot of announcements. So um, how about we take a moment and just enjoy a, uh, a little PSA that has uh, come our way. Hi there. Every month the Efficient Follow Online releases new content, and every month we get that much closer to social dance mutiny. Each class gives students a deeper understanding of dance technique, communication, and safety. Follows are starting to realize that most leads don't know how to lead them properly at all. I fear the day will come when follows prefer to dance alone at the socials. Or worse, dancing with each other. So please, don't take class with the efficient follow online. And definitely don't check out facebook.com slash efficient follow. Happy birthday, Devin, queen of the efficient follow series. Uh, check her out. And by the way, she is Ephosa endorsed. I mean, let's just let's just see what the man has to say about her courses. He says, yo, if you're not taking Devin Near Hill's head movement courses and her other courses as well, and you're a lead, you need to rectify that. This is vital information, required learning. All the things will make sense immediately from the first video. Now, as a follow, come on, son, you already know what you must do. I hope you approve of that reading. <laughs> but anyway, again, happy birthday, Devin. And happy birthday, uh, Marissa, here in LA, one of our other instructors. We've got birthdays coming out of our ears right now. And happy birthday, Shawnee. And happy birthday, Chanel. So many birthdays. Oh, my God. Anyway, on with the show. All right. Are you guys ready to talk some shit? Because I am. So, you know what? Get the tea out. It is time for the tea room. 
we have a situation on our hands where, um, where we have the haves and the have-nots. Where we have the haves made up of three groups. We'll say the haves are people who have just gotten unlucky. They've been careful with the unlucky and they got COVID, right? And then you have the medical professionals, people who have been um, working in the field and they've gotten vaccinated. Most of the people in our scene have been ultra careful, um, but fortunately they've been vaccinated. And then you have the third group of people who just never gave a shit, you know, and they just kept going out, kept dancing. They're the they're the reason why we have all of the rules that we have. So there's that group. They just didn't care. Whatever. It is what it is. And then you have the other half um, or other group, we'll say, are the people that, that are in the middle that have been uh, careful and they haven't gotten sick and they've just been they've just been laying low and they've been kind of suffering like the rest of us. Um They've just been suffering because they haven't been able to, to dance. They haven't been able to social dance. But as events are starting to come back, we're coming into a weird haves and haves not situation because the people who have been responsible and careful that don't work in the medical profession and have been somewhat lucky to not get sick, they're being punished now. And it it's creating this weird rift where some people, the people that are in the group A will say, uh, they're starting to go out, do more things, but they're feeling like they're having to be careful about it. They have to tiptoe around. And it's just making this weird dynamic that's going on. And you know what? To me, hence the T, what this means is that we just all just have to be nice to one another and understand some people are going to take the risks. Some people aren't. You just, you know, it's hard to like some of the <laughs> some of the people who have just been like acting like this is no big deal. You know, for like for me personally, I have had, I know people I know people who have gotten very sick. I have one friend that's been two weeks in the hospital, intubated and sedated. He's younger than me. This stuff is real. It's, it's, I, you know, it's a real tricky situation for everybody, but it is what it is. It's a shit show. It's been a shit show for a year. So hopefully we all can still just be nice to one another, drink our tea and just keep it, just keep it going. Oh, Lord help me. Jesus. I got to come clean about something, you guys. Um, I've been holding out. I've been I've been holding back. I got an ace in my pocket. I got a I got a secret weapon. You know, just for like for for those moments when I, you know, when I want to turn my zoop game all the way up to motherfucker. That secret is this week's DJ of the week. Oh my god, you guys. This person is unbelievable. She is a fantastic DJ, and you know what? Let me put it this way. If you want a sensual, yet interesting, dreamy, yet grounded set that has a beginning, middle, and end, she is the one. Trust me, she is the one. Her shit is fire. I mean, she's based out of London. She actively posts, and she's great. I don't want to butcher her name, so I'm just going to put her Mixcloud up on the screen. I mean, a lot of people already know about her, but a lot of people don't. More people should know about her. Um, she's just fantastic. I haven't had a chance to really like meet her because I, I mean, when I discovered this, when I discovered her, it was during COVID. But man, if I get a chance, I just want you know want to give her a high five because she is killing it. Five stars. Run, don't walk to listen to this DJ. She is, I mean, just crazy. Anyway, check her out. She's the shit. Simply put. All right. And finally, I've been fanboying about this couple ever since I saw this video, uh, and it's from last year's Brazooka, uh, from the 2020 Brazooka. They, you know, just not only are they just incredibly skilled and precise, but they just look like they're having the times of their lives. They're having all the fun in the world, and it's just, I'm overcome with, with, uh, with joy when I see them dance. And, you know, Quite honestly, to me, I believe that this couple is like the future of the Zook scene. But today, we're just gonna watch yeah, a little snippet. Just a, it's a little, it's a little taste. Just a little, just to wet your whistle. <laughs> I mean, are they not having the time of their lives? Like, 
probably not happy. Like, look at she's just like in it to win it. He's focused, connected. Not a camera. to say i don't say they're just they're just amazing um and it's crazy too because they did all that in um in flip-flops which is i'm sorry what's that oh you didn't notice that they did that in flip-flops oh yeah 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 flip-flops let's just go back and let's go back <laughs> Are they going to teach a class about this? Are they going to teach how to how to fucking kill a dance in flip flops? I, I hope so. <sighs> anyway, all right. So that is this week's episode. Um, we're going to go out with a uh, a bonus video, not Zoop related, of course. No bonus videos are, but I hope you guys enjoy it. That video's been going around. Uh, anyway, that's the Zook line. Uh, link to the video in the description. I love you guys. I miss you guys. Let's keep it going. Stay strong. Let's go.